Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to see the role of a headless browser to improve the overall testing efficiency. Uh, as we have seen in the previous case that we had only two users and uh, two iterations, but it took a long time to execute the tests. Uh, and of course, a lot of memory is also required when a conventional web browser is used. An alternate option provided by Selenium is to use a headless browser, which is, uh, simply speaking, a browser without any user interface. So all the steps carried out by a virtual user in automated testing will be executed the same way, except that we will not see anything happening in front of us uh, like we were doing in Chrome driver. So we will see all the console outputs over here uh, to see the status of the test, but we will not see any uh, user interface. And it will make the overall testing much more efficient. So the first thing we need to do is to add the uh, jar file in build path, add external jars. You must have downloaded this HTML unit driver with dependencies jar file. Open it, apply and close. And it's very easy to change our code uh, from Chrome to HTML unit driver. We just need to change one statement. Instead of using Chrome driver, we'll use HTML unit driver. And when you hover your mouse over on it, you'll see import HTML driver, and that's it. So now, we have changed from Chrome to HTML unit driver, and this import is redundant. Now we can also remove it. Now save the file and run it. Run as unit. And now if you if you see initializing the test, starting test one, and test one is completed. Closing testing, initializing test two, test two is started, test two is completed. So now, we, now you can see that the entire testing process was uh, pretty fast. Now, rest of the things, they remain the same. Uh, if you want to export it into uh, the meter to put load on it, you can simply uh, export it as a jar file, okay? Put it in the, in the same folder, in jmeter, junit, okay, folder. So you call it Selenium JUnit Headless. You can give it any name. And the one more thing you need to do, you need to copy this uh, headless driver, uh, headless browser driver, HTML unit driver, into the JMeter library folder. Here, you must copy the Headless driver, HTML unit driver into the library folder where we have already copied the JUnit. We have already copied JUnit and the Selenium server standalone. You must copy this file in the library folder. Rest of the steps are same. Uh, you will uh, create a new test plan in JMeter. You will add the threads, the JUnit request, and then you can put samples and listeners. Okay, so we have learned in this set of videos how to use JUnit to manage automated tests. Then we learned how to export this code into JMeter to put load on it. And finally, we, we saw how we can use a headless browser to improve the testing process.